Jamrock against Nick Diaz. Gus Johnson, cage side here with Mauro Ranello, Shamrock Diaz. And Mauro, it's been said that tonight's main event is an extension of the long running family feud between the Gracies and the Shamrocks. Do you feel that this is a valid statement and is there more to the story? Well, it is an extremely valid statement. And you know, when you take a look at this saga, the Shamrocks and Gracies are really MMA's version of the Hatfields and McCoys. The two families help build this great sport. Lots of enmity exists between the two families and maybe even internally, Diaz has been chomping at the bit ever since Shamrock humbled his coach, Caesar Gracie, in a matter of seconds. Shamrock now has publicly stated that his days of putting on a show for the fans at the expense of his personal welfare are over, I remain skeptical. I think Shamrock is a master of mind games, and he gets it. When I say it, I mean the sport and entertainment aspects of mixed martial arts. This is his house, and I think given the opportunity, the histrionics will be in full effect. All right, Moro, I'm once again joined by Pat Militich, and Pat Shamrock Diaz, different generations, but very similar styles. They are. They, they do, a, a, you know, they love the same things, but for different reasons. Shamrock talks smack because he likes to get in people's heads. Diaz talks smack because he's generally mad at you. They both love to box. Diaz likes to pick you apart and wait till later put you away. Shamrock likes the big strikes. On the ground, both love to grapple. Shamrock's a leg locker. Diaz likes the upper body submissions. All right, so with that in mind, we take you to Pat's keys in the cage. Key to this fight for Nick Diaz is establishing his jab. The jab is a punch that snaps out using your lead arm, keeping your opponent at bay. The reason Diaz needs to use the jab is to keep Shamrock at the end of his punches, enable him to wear Shamrock out. For Frank Shamrock, he needs to use the overhand right. The overhand right is an explosive punch that lands with a lot of power and enables you to cover, cover the gap with your opponent. Shamrock needs to use this technique to get inside of Diaz's reach and then continue his combinations from there. That brings us to our main event. Shamrock, Diaz, the old lion versus the new lion. Let's go inside the cage for the official introductions with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, from the hotbed of mixed martial arts, San Jose, California, the time has come for the bout you've all been waiting for, MMA's grudge match of the generations. It's time for Shamrock versus Diaz. This is what I do. This is who I am. This is what gets me out of bed in the morning. This is Frank Shamrock. I'm a martial artist. There wasn't a lot of kids like me. I was always boxing in the backyard. I was the only one maybe every day thinking about fighting. I was, you know, just had a fighting issue. Wonder who can kick whose ass. And I love the art. I love studying it. But I study it because I want to become a better person. So I can be a better father and a better husband. Nick Diaz reminds me of me. I'm like Frank Shamrock with better boxing and jiu-jitsu. I'd have to not like myself to not like him. I, mean, I don't think Nick Diaz stands for anything, but, you know, punk kid flipping stuff off. I'm not going to put on no sort of front. What you see is what you get. Uncouth, uncultured. What you get is Nick Diaz, same one as always. I'm going to walk right through that and punch a hole in his head. Devastating clips of right. He cuts easily. He slaps like a girl. I hit plenty hard. I can't get gas without someone telling me how I knocked out Robbie Lawler. This guy knocks out everybody. I, I knocked him out. I think this is his big test. I mean, if he can survive a few minutes with me, it's going to make him a star. Can I let you in on a little secret? I'm already famous. It's on. This is warfare. If you pick up the sword, you better be ready to swing it. First, please welcome to the cage the renowned world-class cage fighter from Stockton, California, Nick. Diaz is 
He's only 25 years old, but he's been in wars. A multi-talented fighter, just as good on the ground as he is standing up. Yeah, and he's an incredible athlete and has great endurance from triathlons. Uh, if he keeps his range, keeps Shamrock at the end of his punches, he should do well. Unfortunately, his career has been marred by controversy as well. One of the sports bad boys, Captain Cannabis, if you will. One of his biggest wins ever against Takanori Gomi via Gogo Plata. Literally went up in smoke when he tested positive for marijuana. But tonight, he is hoping to, well, knock off one of San Jose's favorite sons, Frank Shamrock. Huge crowd here in attendance to see this fight. Nick Diaz, also a winner over one of the most talented fighters in the world, Robbie Lawler. Yeah, Robbie Lawler, a uh, kid that trained with me for a lot of years, most powerful puncher in the sport. Diaz knocked him out. Diaz has won three in a row. It's coming off an impressive victory over journeyman Thomas Denny. So we look backstage at the man affectionately known as the legend. 36-year-old Frank Shamrock about to make his appearance against his fans in his hometown, the Shark Tank in San Jose. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. And now in his own backyard, here is the legend from San Jose, California, Frank Shamrock. Just to let you know where Frank Shamrock is. We talked to him yesterday in our fighter meetings, and this is the only quote that matters. He said to us, I am going to try to kill this kid. Absolutely. He's tired of messing around. After he got hurt in his last fight with Kung Lee, he understands he's not invincible. He wants to let stuff fly and get it over with quick. Frank Shamrock back in the ring, in the cage, excuse me. The last time we saw him, he was down on his shield with a broken arm against Kung Lee. One of the best fights of 2008 in front of another impressive crowd just like this one. Over 14,000 plus on hand for the Strike Force debut on Showtime. And this is what it's all about. Interesting personalities. Two guys who can trash talk. Two guys who can sell the fight. Nobody does it better than Frank Shamrock. Shamrock Diaz, our main event, as Strike Force makes its debut on Showtime, the legend against the up and coming Diaz. Not only is he a great fighter and a legend, he's our sometime broadcast partner here on Showtime. I'm surprised he's not got a microphone on him right now calling this fight. All of you, you know, respect you, Pat. Frank Shamrock back at home, inside the cage. We go to the tail of the tape. At the weigh-in yesterday, these two men with some verbal jabs at each other. It turned physical. Diaz pushing Frank Shamrock. Shamrock trying to get into his younger opponent's head. How do they size up? You know, Diaz definitely has the height. It'll help his reach, but his reach is only two inches difference. I just can't believe that. So Frank Shamrock will have to get under Diaz's jab. We'll see if he can do it. Let's go inside the ring for our main event. The official introductions, Jimmy Lennon Jr. in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HP Pavilion for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Strike Force and Showtime in association with Rockstar Energy Drink, Party Like a Rockstar. This 
bow to sanction by the California State Athletic Commission, the chairman, Tim Noonan, assistant executive officer, Bill Douglas. All right, fans, here we go. Three five-minute rounds scheduled in a catchweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from San Jose, California, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at six feet, one inch, he weighed in at 180 pounds. As one of MMA's outstanding young, versatile fighters, raised in the traditions of boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, he has a record of 18 wins, seven losses, and one no contest, with 10 knockouts and five submissions to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the colorful, pride, and UFC veteran, and the former WEC welterweight champion, introducing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, standing at 5 feet 10 inches, he weighed in at 180 pounds, one of MMA's truly complete pioneers, known for both his submission fighting and striking, his record stands at 23 wins, 9 losses, and 2 draws. Here is the man, recognized as the prototype of modern MMA, please welcome the former king of Pancrase and the former UFC middleweight champion, introducing the one and only Frank the Legend Shamrock. And our referee now to give instructions, Big John McCarthy. Gentlemen, we're over the rules in the back. I want a good, clean, fair fight. Don't you protect yourself at all times and bring my commands. Do I have any questions from you, Nick? Do I have any questions from you, Frank? If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back. Let's get it on. Here we go. Shamrock Diaz. This place is rocking. Main event. Three five-minute rounds. At a catch weight of 179 pounds, it's the old bull versus the baby bull. Will they walk down the hill or run? <laughs> I think with the old bull, young bull, you know, Nick Diaz has a lot of experience, so I think he's run down the hill a few times, and he's probably going to start walking. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Here we go. 15,211 in attendance here tonight at San Jose. They've come to see this one. You can see the low kick game already starting out. Diaz wanting to test the waters with his reach. Diaz with a chip on his shoulder the size of the state of California. Shamrock thinks he's as cool as the other side of the pillow. This is going to be a barn burner. Diaz will talk in the ring. Shamrock will try to get inside the younger fighter's head. And you can hear already Diaz is trash talking. His modus operandi, Shamrock smiling. Diaz catching Shamrock's body kick. Shamrock pulls him in the guard. Yeah, you gotta stick to low kicks with the guy that wants to take you down. You know, when he was southpaw, he kicked to the body. That's for an easy takedown. So that might've been a little bit of a mistake by Frank. 14 of Shamrock's 23 wins have come via submission, but he's against a Caesar Gracie black belt in jiu-jitsu in Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz's, Nick Diaz's ground skills are sick. Uh, I don't want that guy on top of me. Frank needs to get moving and get his rear end up. Shamrock familiar with fighting. Gracie jiu-jitsu black belts. He fought Henzo. Disqualified from the fight. Henzo Gracie taking it to Frank Shamrock, dropping him early and often. Gracie Diaz is just passed to cross side position. 
Pass the guard. He's, uh, he's trying to wear Frank out a little bit. Let's see what he starts looking for. May, will he go for the mount? We'll see what he does. Looks like he's hunting that arm right there. He yeah, has trying to work around. It was Shamrock's right arm that was shattered by Kung Lee last March. This is his first fight back. He's looking to get around, possibly for a bow tie, if he could get around Shamrock's head. See how Diaz is posting on the hip? He's, he was stopping him from spinning with him so he could get access to that other arm and get a better angle. Now he's got the key lock up. Oh, Shamrock comes. By Shamrock. Watch his leg. Shamrock getting to his feet. That's what you got to do with the guy with the reach that likes to punch. You got to throw inside kicks, keep him off balance. Diaz in the southpaw stance. Natural southpaw. Nick Diaz inside. Shamrock goes. And Shamrock, Diaz exchanging again, more talking by Diaz. It's interesting, Shamrock's the commentator, but it's Diaz that's doing all the talking in the cage. <laughs> Frank needs to start working those kicks to the inside of the leg a little bit more. Diaz is just stalking him otherwise. <laughs> nice Shamrock wise. going to the body. And we talked about him doing that. He needs to do that to bring Diaz's head back to him so he can land the strikes to the head. Diaz has thrown more strikes. Shamrock has landed a higher percentage. Shamrock, short right hand to the chin of Diaz. He's wise. He's moving to his left. Away from the power of Nick Diaz. Classic boxing. When you approach a southpaw, you want to move away from his power. It is amazing the size difference between the two, with Diaz coming up from 160 in Elite XC, whereas Shamrock has fought, you know, as high as 205 pounds. Diaz is big. He really is a big kid. He's, over the years, put a lot of muscle on, and he's just, he's filled out quite a bit. While Shamrock circles away from Diaz's left hand, only problem with that is, is he's circling into that long hook of Nick. Nick throws that hook, and that's what he knocked Robbie Lawler out with when he fought. Shamrock, again. On his back, Diaz jumping on him, side control. Fast guard pass, fast. Diaz's corner getting the uh, Diaz supporters in attendance to make some noise, including his brother Nathan Diaz, who was on the very first mixed martial arts event here at the AQ. He mounts him. Shamrock in trouble, but Shamrock with a great Watch Frank upper put his feet body. on the cage. He wants to try and bridge out of it. Right away, Frank knew where he was, put his feet on the cage right away. That's Shamrock can bump and roll with the best of them. 13 seconds to go. Frank. Most of these punches being blocked. Frank's fine. Frank's fine right now. Not getting hurt at all. He knows he's not getting hurt. Now, Frank getting up and pushing off Diaz. Very interesting first round. Nick Diaz looking like the sharper fighter. Here's Amy Shamrock, the wife of Frank Shamrock. Hard for her to watch sometimes, but she understands who she is married to, a warrior. Some blood coming out of the nose now of Frank Shamrock. Here's the kick by Shamrock to the body. You don't, you don't want to throw that to the body when you got it wants to take you down. He snatched it, put him down quick. Here's the key lock attempt by Diaz. Diaz is great at him. Shamrock, what great hips to throw himself over and come up on top there. That was that was athletic to say the least. Crew from CompuStrike doing a superlative job tonight. Diaz landed 29 strikes on the ground, and you know he threw 116 strikes. But Diaz not known for his power, known for those pitter patter, really kind of irritating jabs and and punches, the pawing punches. It's been a while since Frank Shamrock has been in the ring. He's got to knock the rust off. Absolutely, and he needs to open up with his inside kicks to Diaz and get him off his game. Round two, scheduled for three. Five-minute rounds. Frank Shamrock in the short black trunks. Nick Diaz in the long wow. black trunks. Diaz is a character. Love him or hate him, I think he's tremendous for the sport. You need these kinds of characters in mixed martial arts.
martial arts. <laughs> I think they both like talking. Frank's trying to focus right now, though, you can tell. Frank using that straight right hand to the body, trying to take some gas out of Diaz's. Interesting to listen to the chant of Diaz here in San Jose Shamrock's backyard. And really, not that far from Stockton, a lot of people making the trip in this battle of North California. Frank Shamrock lowering his head. Trying to get inside of Diaz. He's getting into a boxing match with a guy with arms twice the length of his. Visually is the way it looks. So what does he have to do then, Pat? He's got to start throwing those inside low kicks and getting Nick off balance. But he's not doing it. And I know we talked about that. I know he wanted to do it. He's forgetting, I think. Now Diaz diving to chop down Shamrock. Backs him up. That short right hook. You see that shot to the body. It hurt Frank. It did hurt Frank as he gets on his bicycle and tries to buy some time. So we stay on the end of Diaz's punches like he does to so many people, and you get tired. Frank's backpedaling. He's got no choice, though. He's, but he's constantly on the end of those long arms. Another short right hook landing on the chin of Shamrock. Diaz trying to pull him in. Shamrock breaking away with his knees. Big, looping right hand connecting for Shamrock. Nice to see Big John McCarthy back in the cage. The sport nearly missed him. One of the best referees in MMA history overseeing this one. Blood coming out of the nose of Shamrock. Diaz now getting really relaxed. Using his boxing skills, his jab, his right hook, his uppercut. Shamrock just can't get through that. He can't overcome the size difference and the length. The reach is proven to be... A big nemesis here for Shamrock. Look at the angles that Diaz punches with. They go around your arms, under your arms, over your arms. They just wrap around you everywhere. Jab by Diaz. Left hand by Diaz. Break trying to box him. Breathing hard, Shamrock, 36 years old. Taking on a 25-year-old. One day, usually, fighters wake up and they just don't have it anymore. Straight left hand connected for Diaz. He's got Shamrock on the fence. Measuring. Now he uses his kicks. Goes downstairs. Very reminiscent of the Kung Lee fight here. Although Kung Lee a little bit more power than Nick Diaz, who's now trying to play to the crowd and talk Shamrock. Double right hook. Nick's boxing skills, I think, are as good as a lot of professional boxers out there at the top of their game. Shamrock's in trouble. 133 to go. He's, he's got nothing. And he's Here hurt. comes Diaz. Elbow strikes now. Those are illegal, aren't they? Shamrock bleeding profusely from the nose and the mouth. On the ground. Diaz moving in. The living legend goes down with a body shot. Ground and pound. Hey. Diaz loading up. Shamrock in trouble. The legend may come to an end right here. Nick Diaz continuing, and it's over. Wow. The young lion. And look at this. Awesome here. Diaz helping Frank Shamrock up. Tremendous. That's why I love the sport of mixed martial arts. Right. A lot of, a lot of smack talking. Beautiful, though, of Nick to help him up like that. Classic. Establishing himself as one of the best in the world with a signature win over one of the legends of mixed martial arts, and it was a beating. It was amazing. He just is nonstop. Every fight he's like that, and he continues to get better. What a well-rounded attack. He started using his kicks, low, high, mixing it's in the great boxing. It's Holy a form cow, of water torture, isn't it? Where you just hit, drop, 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 wears you down, irritates you, and boom. Absolutely, and it goes in for the kill, man. Victory. He's amazing. That kid is tough. Fourth straight TKO win for Diaz. Everybody says he doesn't have power, but he hits plenty hard enough, I think.
We are. This is the end of the accumulation of the punches. Hits him with the body shot, puts him down. Frank had had enough right there. He was exhausted from just continually receiving abuse. Uh, like I say, Diaz hits just hard enough, but about a million times where you can't take it, and then lays the beating on the ground. And I think Frank was even for a while there was opening his arms up and showing him his face and messing with him. A beautiful display and some words perhaps of encouragement raising Frank Shamrock's arm. Say what you will about Nick Diaz. He's a professional mixed martial artist and a what a fitting way to end a tremendous effort by Nick Diaz. There was a shot that led to the beginning of the end. Big body shot that put him down, finished him. And uh, watch Frank, though. Watch him take his arms away from his face and taunt Diaz in just defiance. See? That's a tough guy. Tough guy. Frank Remember, Shamrock. Diaz moving up in weight. A catch weight here, but really size was in his favor. Shamrock unable to overcome the reach. Yeah, Nick Diaz has the frame to carry the weight. There he comes. He's just setting it up, setting it up. I mean, is this the passing of the torch, so to speak? I mean, Diaz has been a veteran. Shamrock now at 36, suffering his second consecutive loss here in San Jose. Where does he go from here? In a way, you know what? It could be if you looked at it, but I'll tell you what. Diaz does this to everybody almost on the planet who are young studs. Shamrock still can fight anybody in the world, and to be honest And we know Diaz you. has had trouble making weight in the past. Is his future at a heavier weight? I think, I think his frame, as I said earlier, dictates that he could go up to 85 if he wanted. All right, let's make it official. The main event is in the books here. Once again, is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, at three minutes and 57 seconds of round number two, Big John McCarthy steps in and stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, Nick Well, let's now take a look at the compu strikes. Look at the amount of strikes thrown by Diaz again. 297, but uh, they are those pit, 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 pit. That you know what? You Unless you're the guy taking them, they're hard enough, I think. Shamrock landed over 50% of his punches, which is an incredible amount when you're fighting Diaz. Uh, zero. Zero for one for takedowns for Shamrock, one for one for Diaz. Uh, but I think they both wanted to put on a show either way and stand up and bang for the crowd. Gus is standing by with Nick Diaz. Thank you very much, Moro. Nick, uh, impressive performance against one of the legends of mixed martial arts, Frank Shamrock, as the young lion defeats the older lion. Give us an idea of what that victory feels like and what it felt like in the cage. Just had to get that one back for my boy. You know what I'm saying? She's a great Jiu Jitsu. You know, I just opened a school too, 230 uh, School Street in Lodi. I'll be doing Caesar Gracie Jiu Jitsu Monday through Friday, 7:30. So if you want to learn how to put the ass whooping down, come through. And uh, you know, I want to make special thanks to Jake Shields, Jake. My partner Jake Shields over here. Okay, watch out. You can't beat this guy. Okay, and Gilbert Melendez, my partner Gilbert, my brother Nathan. Okay, so that's the reason why I won today. And my, my boxing trainer, Richard Boxer Perez. Nathan, Nathan. Justin Boozer, well, my boxing trainer, uh, Richard Perez, is how we got that done. Uh, also, in terms of this fight, what was the key for you to be able to beat him? Uh, Dr. Frank Styles, too, real quick. I'm sorry, what did you say? No problem. What was the key for you this evening? A uh, key was just, you know, get out here, feel good, and put it down. You know, I, uh, I got a lot of, you know, believe it or not, you know, uh, I've been watching Frank Shamrock fight since, you know, since the beginning. So I came out at Shamrock 2000. That's how I met Caesar Gracie. He came down to help Steve Heath for the uh, Chuck Liddell fight when he fought Chuck Liddell. It's my boy Steve Heath, too. I wish he was here today. Uh, but that's how I met Caesar. You know, I was about 16 years old, and that's how that, that's how that went down. And you show some great sportsmanship at the end, uh, finishing Frank, but then pulling him up. Oh, yeah. Like I said, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's hard to hate that guy, you know. He's been doing what I want to do and saying what I want to say for a long time. So, uh, you know, 
had to do what I had to do to, to get that done. Nick, congratulations on a terrific win. Nick Thank you. Good job, bro. Great job. Uh, all the business. Thank you. Yeah, for, yeah, for everything. Great job. Frank Shamrock, uh, tonight was a night uh, that Fr Shamrock fans would love to forget, but uh, you were beaten by a younger and very talented fighter this evening, partner. I give not everything to Nick Diaz. I trained for him 100%. I didn't take him lightly. I knew he's a dangerous opponent, but I always step up. I always fight the best. I always come to entertain. Nick, Nick kicked my ass tonight. There's no two ways about it. He beat me. Are you fully healthy? From what we understand, you do have some rib problems. Yeah, you know, my ribs were jacked, but I'm always jacked. He got me with that left hook and uh, right hand, and boy, it made me crap my pants, and then he laid it on me. But that wasn't it. I was ready. Nick was just a better man. As we take a look, Frank, at the replay, Nick besting you here. Yeah, he hit me in the guts, man, and that was about all the juice I had right there. He doubled me over, and then he put a weapon on me. Frank, you're 36 years old. Uh, you have successful businesses all around the country and world. What uh, is the future for you? Well, I'm going to keep coming back here to the tank. This is my hometown. This is my arena. I brought the sport here. I'm going to keep representing. I teach martial arts every day at my three academies. So if you want to learn the art, man, I'm 36. I'm still going. I'm taking on these youngsters. And I'll be back here. Don't even worry about it. Frank, congratulations. Great effort tonight. You're my broadcast partner at Showtime, and I'm sure that we will be seeing you in St. Louis very soon. You're going to see me on TV, and you're going to see me back here fighting at the tank. Nick got the better of me tonight, but there's always tomorrow. That's the Marshall way. Frank Shamrock, we give it up for both of these gentlemen, folks. Diaz, Shamrock, put on a show here in San Jose. Morrow. Thanks a lot, Gus. Nick Diaz, victorious in the main event, Pat. Uh, 15,200 plus in attendance here in San Jose, California. And a great night of fights. Some shocking results. But were you at all surprised by what transpired in the main event with Nick Diaz? really dominating a legend. You know, I felt that Diaz had the advantage, but I didn't realize he was going to dominate in that fashion. Impressive, impressive fight for him. We had heard that there were some injury problems for Frank Shamrock, but again, you, is there any mixed martial artist that goes into a fight 100% healthy? No, but the older you get, the more they affect you, I'll tell you that. So Nick Diaz, who had definitely been uh, doing his part and talking up this fight in the media, very controversial character, but in the end, turns in a tremendous performance. Frank Shamrock being followed to the dressing room by his wife, Amy. And again, for the 36-year-old legend of the sport, always gives it what he's got. And again, let's not forget, you guys, 15,211 in attendance here tonight. The sport of mixed martial arts, alive and well here in San Jose. And don't forget, coming up June 6th, we will be in the Show Me State of Missouri, St. Louis, for Strike Force on Showtime. June 6th, Master Technician Jake Shields. I feel like I'm the best. I feel like I can beat anyone. Takes on ruthless powerhouse Robbie Lawler. Strength beats a lot of good technique. One punch will turn the outcome of this. Tap or snap, baby. Lawler versus Shields, plus Renato Babalu versus Rafael Feijão for the light heavyweight title. Saturday, June 6th at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, only on Showtime. San Jose, California, and a great night of mixed martial arts comes to an end. Gus Johnson, Moro Ronaldo, Pat Militich, and Coach, we'll start with you. It was the young lion versus the old lion. And in the end, Nick Diaz proved that at 25 years old, he's one of the best in the world and is on top of his game. Yeah, Nick Diaz has a ton of experience. He might be younger, but that kid has a ton of fights, great experience, great boxing technique. He proved it tonight. The kid really is incredible. 
So Nick Diaz goes in. Excellent performance this evening, defeating Frank Shamrock. Morrow, Strike Force debuts wow. on Showtime. We have seen different promotions in the past go down the tubes. The most recent, the Elite XC. Great management with Scott Coker with this promotion, and they put on an incredible show of great, exciting fights tonight. And at the end of the day, Gus, that's what it's all about. Entertaining fights, and for me, the highlight tonight, Scott hands a Steel Smith, who continues to add to his resume of highlight reel knockouts, coming back and knocking out one of the best of 185 in Benji Raddick. All right, so tonight we saw fighters give and take and show incredible courage in the cage. For more information on upcoming Showtime sports, mixed martial arts, and boxing events, we invite you to visit our website at sports.show.com.